I'm the executive director for MASC, which is a multinational association for supportive care and cancer. Uh, with the uh, uh, supportive care is the management of, uh, of side effects of cancer and cancer therapy. And uh, we uh, work with the uh, 70, 17 different uh, uh, side effect uh, topics where we have study groups uh, uh, making uh, evidence-based uh, guidelines for how to treat uh, side effects. We have, uh, from, we have a pediatric uh, study group and we have a geriatric, so it should cover the spectrum. And you meet how often? We meet uh, yearly. Uh, it's in our charter, in our bylaws, that we should have an annual meeting and it should uh, alternate between continents. Usually it's been between uh, North America and Europe, but in 2016 actually we are going to Oceania. We will be in Adelaide in June 2015. How do you get your yeah. guidelines out and, and who reads them and does anybody read them? We get a lot of traffic to our website. Uh, we are very uh, altruistic proud and poor society because we basically give everything free of charge out to everybody so all our guidelines and patient tools are, are, are free to uh, download from our website uh, and uh, increasingly we are making uh, guidelines together with um, uh, major other societies like ASCO, like ESMO, like EONS and like ONS etc. How do you know the guidelines have any impact? Well, the studies being made on, 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 on supportive care following the guidelines show that, that, that uh, there is a, 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 a significant decrease in, in side effect levels. Usually when you, you, you uh, work with anti-cancer therapy, you know, uh, it's, a, it's bad if you have to prolong the uh, treatment-free intervals if you have to make dose with reduction, etc. But by using optimal supportive care, you can make the anti-cancer uh, treatment much more effective, uh, keeping uh, the original uh, dosage schemes and the original uh, time schedules and so on. So from that perspective, supportive care is important. It's also important from the fact that with the demographic, uh, uh, you know, mo people getting older, a lot of people getting cancer, you know, they call it the cancer tsunami actually. The thing is, in many countries they cannot afford very expensive uh, anti-cancer therapy and maybe it's not even relevant for this uh, group of patients. So optimal supportive care is, is a fantastic and non-expensive uh, way to go.